So, where have I been? I don't want to open it. But, crap. I failed my second year exams. My second semester of second year of medical school was the hardest for me mentally and physically and my health suffered as a result. My house was pretty awful, like incredibly damp, mouldy, my mental health plummeted and I spent 99% of the, sec like, the second half of second year in my bed, struggling to get on with uni work, crying, being upset over everything. If you go back to my vlogs, I show you the happy parts, the fun parts, me going out, spending time with my friends, but I didn't show the lowest parts, the parts where I was crying in my room, lying in my bed, struggling to focus at uni and giving up on myself. With help from my uni, my friends and my family, I found myself a bit more alive and a bit more myself, ready to start the intense revision. The three weeks before exams I covered all the content but I had no time to revise, I saw everything once. I really struggled to be ready for these exams. But I'm going to be honest, I'm going to show you my results. I got barely 30% in all four of my main modules and I need 50% to pass. This, like honestly, was the most awful thing I've ever had to see. I've never failed an exam in my entire life and I know that sounds really privileged to say. I was not prepared for what it would do to me mentally to see those numbers and see that I have failed. I took a well needed break between my results and my exams to make sure that I had time to process what had happened. I then went into a deep dark pit of revision where all I did was study, eat and sleep and gym occasionally. I put everything that I had into these exams and even managed a 70 hour study week right before my exams started. Revising for resets was not all straightforward though. I had many an obstacle this year. It was just not going right for me. I had to move house into my brand new house, which is so much better than my old one, but it did take up a lot of time and there was a lot of maintenance issues that I needed to report. I then got an ear infection, which left me bed bound for about three days straight because I was in so much pain before I went into hospital to get antibiotics and morphine because it was so painful and by the time that I finally faded there was about a week left before exams which was my 70 hour study week so it was not the easiest of times but I pushed through and we got to the exams. Heading into my exams was absolutely nerve-wracking. I did not feel ready, I did not feel put together, and I don't think I've ever felt ready for any exams, but I was definitely more put together than last time. Oh my god, so hey, I haven't had a chance to sit down, and my results come out today, so I'm gonna need to sit down to watch you guys now. After seeing everything that I went through this year and everything that's happened, I just wanted to pop on here and talk about how I'm feeling now about my exam results. Ignore the dark circles. I know they are bad. I can't fix them. So basically, I've come to terms with how the exams went. I feel like if I pass, it will be a scrape. And if I do pass, I will show you my results because honestly, it was traumatic going through every event that I went through to get to this stage. Obviously, it's not as bad as it could have been. Some students probably went through a lot worse this year. But basically, I if I pass, it will be a scrape, like very close to not passing. If I don't pass, I have not definitely come to terms with it obviously because at the minute i'm still very hopeful that i've passed <laughs> if i do fail i have come to terms with the fact that i would have to reset the year as an external student and redo the exams at the end of next may but this would mean i wouldn't be attending in-person learning i would just be revising the content with the resources and access to what i already have this is fine i will be signing a new contract for this job which there's like two options of pay rise. One of them restricts my overtime, one of them doesn't. If I fail, I will be choosing an option that does not restrict my overtime. If I pass, I'll be choosing the one that does restrict my overtime because obviously when I'm in university, I cannot work more than 15 hours more than the weekend. So that's that made that decision for me. That's something that I can now make. If I fail, I will also be getting a full-time job Monday through Friday and working here at weekends so that I can earn as much money as possible and try and save throughout the year. Because if I can manage to save up a good amount of money, then I won't have to work as much whilst I'm at university and entering my third, fourth and fifth year. So I have got a plan. I know what I want to do. If I pass, I'm going to really enjoy myself, work really hard for the next couple of weeks and go back to uni on the 29th of August because the 28th is a bank holiday 
and I know that that's something I will really want to do. So if I pass, fingers crossed, I really want to pass. I know what I'm doing. If I fail, although it will be hard, I will also know what I'm doing. I'm going to work really hard for a year. I've already started applying for jobs and I've got an interview at 4pm tomorrow if I fail. If I pass, then I'll just ring them up and be like, unfortunately, my plans have changed, so I've got another job. And be like, I can't ever take the interview. If not, I have an interview for a job that'll be evenings while I look for a better job. I've applied for a bunch of medical secretary jobs, a few healthcare jobs, just so I can have one in the field I want to work in. And that's what I'm doing. So that's where I'm at. Obviously, it'll still be hard if I fail, but we're going to get through it. After work today, I'm going to meet my friend Farasha, who you've probably seen the vlogs before. Um, I'll put her in now. Um, I'm going to meet her because she finishes work at three. We're going to chill out, go shopping for a little bit, and then open my results. If my results come out while I'm at work, obviously I'm not going to open them until I go home. But at least I'll have someone there for me if I do fail. And if I pass, I'll have someone there to celebrate with too. So yeah, that's it. So I'm going to go back to work, and I will catch you guys later when I react to my results from my research. I think, I think you have, Emily. Fingers crossed, touch wood, do everything you can. Let's not cry. He'll be okay, he'll be fine. I don't know. Shut up. No, I don't know. <sighs> it's okay, it's fine. <laughs> Wait, what's your average? You're 48. <laughs>